This morning I found some photos on the internet where it seems like the people are floating. Some photos like these. And I thought we should try and make one of these photos on our own. And I already know the perfect spot for it. Okay, then let's get our gear together and uh, go outside. All right, here we are. Now we just have to find a good spot uh, to make the photos. But uh, we forgot the chair. Again, let's go back. All right, here we are. I think uh, this is a pretty good spot if we set up the chair and everything between these trees here behind me and in the middle of the path that should look uh, pretty good so we give it a try and there are three things you need uh, to take these photos first of all of course your camera second of all a tripod and the third thing you need is a chair or a bar stool or some sort of a box where you can sit or lie on and um, yeah that's comfortable and easy to transport all right, we set up the tripod and the camera and the first thing we are going to do is take a picture only of the background. But um, when you take the picture, you maybe want to set your camera into manual mode so that you can adjust the exposure and all that stuff. All right, we got the photo of the background. Now it is time to move the object or the person you want to appear floating in your photo into the frame. All right, and we are done. Now let's uh, get the chair, let's get back home and work on the photo. Okay, and we are back. Now I'm going to show you how to edit these photos with GIMP. You can also use Photoshop, of course, but I am going to use GIMP because it's for free and easy to use. So let's jump in. Okay, and now we are in GIMP. Over here, you can see all the photos we took on that day. And these are the two photos I'm going to edit now. The first step would be to drag the photo of only the background into GIMP. After that, you click on File, open as layers, and choose the photo with the person in this case, or the object, whatever you are trying to make float. And um, the third step would be to click on Layer, Transparency, Add Alpha Channel. Now we can choose here the Eraser tool. If you double click on it, you get a lot more options like the size of the brush, the opacity and all that stuff. And I would say turn the size a little down and start erasing the chair. Okay, and now we are done. As you can see, the chair is gone and it seems like I'm floating. Of course, uh, you don't have to use the eraser tool. If you want, you can also um, use the scissors select tool. Just to mark the object and then copy and paste it into the background picture. But yeah, this is done. And I would say uh, we take a look at some of the photos we took on this day. Okay, and we are done. I think the photos turned out pretty nice, but they could be better, especially from the height. The chair we used wasn't that high. Like I said before, it's better if you use um, a bar stool or something that's a little bit higher so that it really looks like you are floating. But I think you got the general idea on how to take these photos and how to edit them. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like or a comment. And yeah, we see you in the next video.